The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Maybe. Come on, Amy, call it a night! Protests seemed like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage, and Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Go ahead, check out the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly.
Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce, in the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. <sighs> this way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man, look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him.
Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's going to be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. 
And this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Wait, hold, hold, on. The core. hold on! We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Well. Well. Right. All this time. Paul. 
must have all been avoided. We're too late. I didn't want to leave Paul, but there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Hurry! Here! Fire! What the hell? Hurry! This way! Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it... It must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there... What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. A time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. Uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the Will. server room. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. I warned Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always... Shh. You... Hold up. We are on this side. Okay. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab. He could have gone back and tried to take the surface This doesn't make any sense. How? Why are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Backup's on route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... Go. 
have no context for any of this, Jack. We weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Will, get out! Oh, God. Target's armed! Opening fire! We're pinned down! Yeah, I noticed! Are you okay? I think so. But Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Where is everybody? I don't like it. You heard the gunfire. Something's gone wrong. What? There! Take him down! These guys are wearing modern uniforms. Turn around! The other Joyce is here, too! Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, now Jack and William Joyce been detained. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. We must be out to the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. Jack, in here. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try.
Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stan. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. No, no. My car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh, God, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here, you'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. It's probably Boron. Some shit.
Where's your car, Will? I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. That's... I'm seeing the past. I hope I to God, God I'm not too late. late. There we go. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back to him. Fast. I swear to God, if you hurt him. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! Supposed to take William, William Joyce, Joyce alive, alive if he doesn't put up a fight. fight. Please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut can the shut hell up. Hell up. But just shut just the shut fuck up, up, all right? All right. Boss, said Boss said to take him to, to the library. To the library. Wants to deal Wants with to deal this one first. first. 
Well. That's where they're taking you. Already initiated. You should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time machine? Hey, hey. I said, I said don't talk. talk. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Ugh, nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn campus. Somebody cut them. Open fire! It's Joyce!
Okay, gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. to reach Will before it's too late. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. There's gotta be another way in. Where did that come from? Looks like a way up. Come on, I don't have time for this. Gotta slow that thing down somehow. What the hell is going on around here? HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the brother is. To the skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. The library is ready to blow. Now?
Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. <clears throat> Hold that thought. Take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that means something I need in order to stop the fight. Keep pushing! briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody.
It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. <gasps> My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. 
We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. All clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved, but his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages, the location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time, the location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Tell me. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want us to. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No! Wait! Please! Please, please stop! Please! Help me! Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait! No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. 
That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. What do you want? Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. See those two men on either side of me? Well, I'm going to stand. I'm going to leave. And the one on your right is going to shoot you in the head. Fuck you. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of her report because they have all these government contractors who need two-way access. That means weaknesses. So, all Where? we have, huh? Where? Where what? Where, uh, weaknesses, you said. Shut the fuck up, Bernard. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple? Come on. Come on. And we're in. Yeah? Street cams, dash cams, computers at headquarters. I mean, hell, I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's coffee? Yeah, I know, it's coffee. What the fuck is it doing on my desk, Brenner? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? Coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Now, you tell me what's next, Brenner? 
I don't know. I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's gonna take, because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take Riverport under Monarch control. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Just... Winka, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I, uh, I've got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burt directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? What the... Hello? Oh, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what is um, it? What? <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now.
hands off for just a moment, but from the reports I'm reading, it seems like this is becoming a very volatile situation, one that could boil over at any moment. Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and avoid the headquarters demanding answers. Our thoughts are with the families of Amy Ferraro and all others who are missing at this time. More on this story as it develops. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. Thank you for joining us. We're going to take you live to a press conference. Riverport's own Mayor Rackley is currently holding regarding last night's violence at Riverport University. The Riverport Police Department is currently investigating the premature demolition of the university library. Monarch Solutions is lending a hand in this investigation. I want to encourage the people of Riverport to offer them every assistance in finding those responsible. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Thanks. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on animals is expected to be law today. Animal rights activists. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? The four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party. Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice. I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk. So. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. 
buddy. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I do not a give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Golden boy. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, you'd really rather not. That's in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh? There's nothing there? He, like he just wasn't there? Like, or what? No, Hatch. He um, he reassigned me. He wants me to. Secure the perimeter lab on the island. 
He thinks Joyce might go there. Hey, he sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know, uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Yeah, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B, near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shots, we are free of charge, get him in HR. superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> south parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this.
Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Thanks for that, asshole. Only way forward. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's gotta be another way in there.
I'm not getting through that. There's gotta be another way. I might have to climb in through the roof. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts on disposing of those witnesses. Clear any trace of our involvement. Jack will come to us at the island tonight. During the gala? You're sure? Positive. Dispose of the witnesses. This is the last of the witnesses. No. Reaper team's finishing up with the last of them in A3. Didn't expect to be leaving the university with a kill list. Why not deal with them at the campus? Too exposed at the campus to finish there. Had to move the whole lob here when things went south. Goddamn mess. Media's gonna tear a hole in our ass. <sighs> Who's on barrel and solvent duty? Not me. That's for damn sure. It's him! Joyce is here! <laughs> Looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere.
Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... They both know that if you find Serene, you're not going to be asking questions. Think this through. All right. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Taxi guy. You drove me to university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university, they grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. Was supposed to be the good guys. Keep fighting. Those are my last words to her. 
Sent chills up my spine to think I might have... We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero. You motherfuckers. Look, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks, uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. It's a push. We gotta make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? No. Not exactly. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. <laughs> we can't let them get away with this. It's locked. I'll take a look. I can't believe this. The world's gotta know what happened here. They will. I'll make sure of it. Yeah? I'm going WikiLeaks on these assholes when we get out. First, I gotta figure out how WikiLeaks works. But then I'm gonna WikiLeak the shit out of them. Uh, oh, by the way, how did you lay out those guys back? Oh, hey, the gate's open. Gates closing too fast. Not necessarily. So, how are you going to get past that gate?
shit. You just... What are you, some kind of goddamn X-Men? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's, um... Freaking sick, man! All right. Not the reaction I expected. I knew this kind of crap existed! Driving a cab, I've seen some stuff, man. Oh, I'm just glad you're on my side. So... So you're like a government experiment. <laughs> Did they tell you what's going on here? I only know what my brother told me. Time is breaking down, and Monarch is involved somehow. It's really not. Get me to that dry dock, and I'll find out. locked. There's got to be another way inside. Looks like there's an open window up above. It's worth a shot. Wait here. I'll try that. Man, this place gives me the creeps. Monarch <laughs> bought up the whole area in 2010, but the real question is, why was everyone so eager to sell? I've heard everything from radiation leaks to ghost stories personally all right that's that i think this place is haunted and i got theories man okay check it out you know how we all got jobs? Mo what makes us think that it's not the same <laughs> ghost in the ghost world? You still with me? Okay, so this whole place is a huge industrial area. And It's definitely a theory. Need to get up to that open window. Maybe I could boost you up to that window. <laughs> no, no, it's too high. You'll figure something out. Is that another one of those? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's that. Made it. Now to get to that door. Starting to get a little antsy out there. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for All right. Where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hmm. Security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. 
I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... We're under attack! My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Contact! Shotgun or advancing on hostile! Mother... No, 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 no! 
All right, taxi guy. Where am I headed? It's Nick, by the way. Jack. Okay, uh, there's a door on the upper level leading to a sky bridge, but looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. How do I do that? On the map, there's a squiggly line that leads from the door to a big square, and that square has two squigglies leading to little circles. What the fuck does that mean? What am I doing here? I don't know, man. I'm not the superhero. Find the door, follow a squiggly line to a box, more squigglies, circles, do something. Security turns off and you're golden. Thanks, Nick. Locked, like you said. Gotta follow the squiggly line. Still searching for circles. Oh, uh, yeah. They're not like literally squares and circles. The square is some kind of security console. S squiggles are, are cables, I think. Follow the cables. You couldn't have just said that to begin with? Thought I was clear enough?
on the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for, uh, Meyer Joyce Particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce Particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? Y you don't think he's working for... No. I, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. Chronon levels will lower to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances Sophia in Amaral. the area of Meyer Joyce particles. Monarch's Better resident Chronon scientist. She must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area. Located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. HQ, we have contact. It's Joyce! Get him out! Joyce, you got nowhere to go! Go, go! Most notably, the Chrono Shut him out! Frozen! Obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as Chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, Unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area we now refer to as Ground Zero. Enemy spotted! Located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in extremely dense emissions of Cronon particles, really perfect conditions for extraction, which led to the Cronon harvesting operation you see today. All of Monarch's Cronon technology relies on these particles. Most notably, the Cronon field regulation only personnel are to handle the containers. The new temporal anomaly is more proximity to the the yellow zone. This zone emits dense chronon pockets ripe for harvesting. The ground zero perimeter itself is never to be entered under any conditions. Fresh without warning. Many who have entered Ground Zero Get have never there. returned. We know that the rapture will occur on October 8, 2016. We hypothesize that from this point, the levels in Ground Zero will For this reason, all harvesting necessary for sustained use of the CFR must be completed before the fracture runs into the flush. For more information, please
Nick, I'm in the harvesting warehouse. Looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. No clear exit down here. Then you have to head upward. There's gotta be something I can use to get up there. elevator. Hey Jack, I found a bunch of files here about your bro. The Monarch started monitoring his workshop in 1999. They pressured him to sell in 2010 and set up some chronon harvesting operations surrounding the building. What was Will doing in there? Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. <laughs> okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? What have we got here? I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Till then, hands off. Huh. I think there's no power to the lock. Okay. So this thing okay. The Looks like the trailer has power now. It's real bad now. It's Paul's bad. men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry dogs. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel one is the monarch frequency. So use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence.
locked. There's got to be another way to get through here. Nick, you still there? Oh, shit. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, take a while to guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see what was in there, and it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and answer it. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was I wanted to see the world. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks and answer it.
Classic signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. men to move from stutters. Knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. Yet he never tried to stop it. <laughs> At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way forward. What is this? What the 
hell? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? Specifically requested copper-clad niobium. Well, there's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, please, don't do this. this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. Overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. something wrong with Paul. 
Cronon Syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! There we go.
Sir. Ah. Stutters were getting bad. Me shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt.
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. My exact words were, don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. 
That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. My ride, my music. Deal with it. I love this song. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Zip code theory? No. Hey! Okay. I think what I found a way in. Do if I told you <clears throat> all of Monarch's plans may be centered around the numbers in 01122. I would go on living my life, probably with slightly less respect for you. Stutters aren't going away. <clears throat> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. $12,000 I'm about to conduct the first animal you test. Must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Mouse Schrodinger in order. You owned this place since 1999? Shit. Why didn't you tell come on, me? Schrodinger, come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes. And we're back. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We got an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and <laughs> it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, you typical slick feeling about
luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. I need help moving this. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. It's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What the shit? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. What is this? A goddamn spaceship? Okay, core controls. Where are they? The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. 
But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine? He said the countermeasure was stolen. The machine is still here. Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. You think you had help? Here goes nothing. my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. A monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I want to win, Mr. Joyce, miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. leads I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started I've tried to change things but by trying I only made them happen in the first place
breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? Anyone who might implicate Monarch. Fuck you. Hmm. Wait! We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Was that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Yeah. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna... Share it with me. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom. So, I'll leave you hang in here for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right.
Thanks for the gun. Dr. Ramro? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarm is distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. Sir. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks. Chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Woo. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink Drink. More. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are, rules. are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. OK. <laughs> OK. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually ate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your encouragement. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Hey, 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 Burke, listen, if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking 
is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. But I... answer? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, oh, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess, yeah, I love work. Holy, Holy shit! Holy shit! shit. Hey, you little fuck. fuck. Hey, that was. All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? Which is the reason I'm here. still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. Yeah, I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs>
die for. It's Dr. Kim. The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched. Like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, eleven or twelve years old. When we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? Well, I refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate. I'll be here. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're 
they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Chronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder, you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you was too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? Looks like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. 
Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. There must be some way to open the door. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, I'm gonna have to move faster to get through. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? See a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Try this again. Was all supposed to be quietly swept under the carpet. 
But now we've got a shitload more bodies to disappear. Well, at least we got it under control now. That's the last of them. Time felt broken here. <clears throat> the whole cannon felt unstuck in time. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you. all supposed to be quietly swept under the carpet but now we've got a shitload more bodies to disappear well at least all right time felt broken here of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I grab it for you. I heard Serene met with Joyce and Mark. Yeah, I heard he took a personal interest in her. Somebody said it's because they both got powers. I guess you gotta go. But I heard it was something personal too. What is the deal with Serene anyway? I mean, I thought Hatch was the boss. Well, he is an EA. Hatch is the public face. Serene is the real boss.
Thanks, Beth. Need to get to the radar tower. Okay, next stop, the radar tower. God. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. This is your pal, Bobby oh, seriously? <sighs> what is this, a Bond villain layer? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. expecting somebody this handsome, I know. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to assure we maintain control over our path forward. And that's what tonight is about. Beach is streaming. The future. Let's give Monarch the audience they deserve. We all knew this day was coming, even if many of you out there aren't sure what it means. We're entering a new phase in our operation. One that presents new risks and new demands. One that requires... Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. 
Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up.
Best. I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Whoa, seriously? <laughs> what is this, a Bond villain layer? <laughs> you have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. That doesn't look right. It was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. I strain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? Ah! 
target has been lost. Over. Which way is Amaral's office? These things were designed like walking tanks. They weren't for you. Don't flatter yourself. Oh, hello. Might be able to get out from here. This isn't the usual employee route. I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. Dr. Amaral's office must be close. No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. That's Emma's office. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly, less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Emerald's at the park. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party.
quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Garage. Sounds like the way out of the place. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this place. All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. Open fire! God. That's Jack Joyce, isn't he? All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. Is it true that Hatch got shot? Shot at, anyway. Right on stage. That's fucked up. Hostile! Incoming. 
HQ! Target sighted, over! easier. There's got to be a way out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'm talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, weenie. I'll make my way there. I see Hash getting shot at was an insider job. I create a window for us, but Serena's looking for you. Remember what we said. I'll keep him occupied, but switch to the monarch. Stay out of the It's choice. Over. Okay. Advance. Repeat. I'll see you at the Advance party. Advance on target. Over.
I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, weenie. I'll make my way there. the last of them. Exact coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Home Guard 5. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. Beth? I'm on my way. He took out my entire squad. Requesting immediate backup in here. Attention all units. Reroute to the tunnels immediate. Negative. See I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. All right. I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chronon dampener. It would drain my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. Security's tight. Maybe you want to shut that machine off. Thank you. 
this down before it gets worse. Here we go again. No doubt. I think that's way yeah. above our pay now rate. Joyce is here! Somebody get to read back here! for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. Should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. 
A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. Best way to avoid blame? Look. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Oh shit! That drone! It's in the wrong place at the wrong time, literally. Jack, Dr. Amaral's in there. We need to get her out before time comes back. Time kicks back in, and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor.
need to open that gate. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by and... No. Just go. We went to all the stuff. Oh, that's right. I'm counting on you to keep it alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. I'll fight my way through anything Monarch can throw at me and then steal a car. Drive me back to the swimming pool. Remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. Let's see how it shakes out. Beth and Dr. M are all clear. It was time for me to get gone. For that, I need wheels. Valet parking. Beloved by car thieves ever. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Martin, how is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... The 
took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want him in Brad. Immediately. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. All right, Emerald. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those troops. But she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She'd been there the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? 
do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God, simply the idea of being with that much power, the ability to take and give so freely, that kind of control, that, but should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it, just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God? isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. End of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside.
That's good. I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. If you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch.
I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment, it's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. One guy? Yeah. Where's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson, take out the bird. Fiona! Fiona! Fiona, you gotta listen. Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't me. about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Huh? I'll see you there. Burke, you fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife.
Commander Davis. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Oh. Oh. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! Jack, he wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Thank <laughs> you. 
Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen, please, please, please. Yes. please. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. She wasn't at school, and I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. And like, if Mom, I could, if they gave me structure. You gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. And I'm waiting you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me. If you will just let me. Protect you. On my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It is me. Okay. We have to go. We have to go right now. Okay. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Gotta get to higher ground. All right, that's that. I'm looking at the bridge right now. A lot of monarch. I don't know. Maybe you can see across. Well, maybe. I can pick you up. Let me know. Pretty exposed. 
packed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. The monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Better get inside before the chopper spots me. So, we don't know where he is. We can't, uh, we Still can't there? find him. So we yeah, need to look into a, a you know, a, uh, a replacement. on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I don't care. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If you let Joyce across that bridge, it makes sense. It's getting tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be a crossfire. Alright, any bright ideas? Using our fire! There's no way in hell you're gonna get away with it! Calm down. We need to take a look at your truck. Alright, I'm gonna get the Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, so you still have to get down there. Where's the fire pole? Bastards. HQ, this is Gatekeeper One. Sippies are up in arms over here. They're getting out of their cars. Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. You heard Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it. Copy.
Checkpoint team, move in. Target has been spotted under the bridge. Weapons free! Change of plans, the pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. Almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. I need to get him to the bridge. Cross it. Civvies, trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hard line. Any means necessary.
I'll take that. I'll take that.
I'll take that. Okay, good. It's cool. Just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. <laughs> Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. But the route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. Okay. And no one would know. Hold still. Come on, hold still. Come on, come on.
fracture was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said, I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Potential ally? Not even close. See how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. You think Will told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. found the problem. Quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. OK. 
Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. It's a perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Okay, the first red light is now green. <laughs> one more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. 
Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Climbable. are green. Jack. Hi. It's Will. I... I guess you're in Thailand by now. I'm not sure if you even still use this number. I don't like how he left things. I'm... I've been under a lot of pressure. There's some things I should tell you. I'd like to make it right. Just... call me. Okay? Please. Set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? So turn him back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Yeah, 
I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! Ah. It's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. Well, what have we got here?
11 years. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop, where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes, that was the plan. I just have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river, along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. Paul to 1999. Why did he travel so far back? To form Monarch. Prepare for what's coming. You kept tabs on him. And he's kept tabs on me. <sighs> I'm ready when you are, Jack. Okay. The countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? You bring it back here. Use the machine, return to the future. Use it to stop the fracture. That was always the plan. That is still the plan. Yes. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out.
I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through. What she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul. Followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth. She had doubts. You okay? Yeah. But the countermeasure. The one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. There it is. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you leave me to my brother. Sure. Now, where do we find this thing? Will said he secured it inside a safe. Somewhere in the building. All right, Will. Where'd you hide that safe? we go. This must be where he built it. You're the only, only one, one who can stop, stop it. it. There is no, no theoretical, theoretical groundwork. groundwork. It could take, it take even, even years, years to, build. to build. And it will. And it will. You'll have to You'll keep have it a, to keep secret. a secret. Even, even from the from ones, the you, ones love. you love. It's the only it's way to keep them safe. safe. You witnessed one, didn't you? An echo. Hey, River Boy. I'm yeah. pretty sure you folks are having a better time. It was you. Than Shit, shit. Locked out again. again. Where was the failsafe switch? switch? Follow the wire. Which one was it? Was it blue? Blue? Or was that the emergency shutdown? Oh, shit. I knew I should have labeled the wiring. And open sesame. Emergency shutdown initiated. Shit, shit, ass. ass. Fucking, Fucking god, god damn, it. damn it. Yellow wire, I knew I do it. I built a goddamn time machine, but I can't remember to keep a piece of shit door unlocked. Let's see here. The device wasn't there, but it must there have been at one go. time.
The power setup wasn't working, but it must have worked at some point. Maybe I can rewind time to get this working. It was all there on the board. The details of his downward spiral. His work consumed him. It became some kind of desperate obsession. He was never the same. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to... Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make sure they don't get anywhere near the countermeasure. This is Trojan 1, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Monarch Actual's en route. Roger. Stop right there. Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Take it easy. He's got a gun. Open fire! Shoot him! Gotta move. Time to move.
Paul. Hand it over. I said, get out of my way. Gotta get back in. with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? We created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Serene had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? No.
I don't have much time left. I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. The CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene? Sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. The lab explosion. My treatments, all gone. First things first. Seal the chamber. The CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene? I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene, out. This soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of... becoming the enemy. What that would mean... for me... For the plan, I can feel it infesting my thoughts. Ah. I don't know who to trust anymore. Sophia Amaral. She wanted to activate the lifeboat before it was ready. She wants to sabotage my operation. Who knows what she's told Jack? Who knows how long she's been working? Sir? Be right with you, son. Report. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. One of my treatments. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? I'm not a traitor. You're the same now. Need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not gonna keep me from getting to see a far. Chance to walk away, Joyce! Liam Burke. He would fight to defend us. To slow Jack down. The plan could still work. You have all betrayed me, assured my downfall, and now I will assure yours. My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. 
apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. No more happening. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Sir? Thank you. I'll be right down. Dismissed. Yes, sir. fast while I still can <sighs> Bradbury swimming pool Paul Sawin's become unhinged. What about my treatments? He's triggered a catastrophe. The Joyce Phil could collapse within eight hours. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. And this is where we come in. Good evening, Dr. Amaral. You're five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. I've come to free you, my friend. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. What was troubling me? is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit minutes before the explosion. I need her found now. Liam? Yeah. So I have some information about Warren Hatch. I want him apprehended immediately. No! I'm afraid we have no time. I need to wake my family. Your family won't be necessary. Dr. 
Dr. Remo. Yes, hi. I'm gonna oh. need you to come with me. I knew you wouldn't listen to me. It was a simple fail-safe. Once the chrono... I know what it was. It can't be undone. That was always the point, wasn't it? It wasn't for you to decide when. We've been in this together. You and Joyce... You blew up the lab. The lab? You sabotaged me. And then you come here, behind my back. This was Martin's work. I trusted you. He wants the fracture. Look, I... Just stop. You know what's always amazed me about you? Your ability to captivate. It's carried you so far. It's carried us so far. And... There was a time... I saw us going even further. We can still fix this. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's Fiona. I need your help. Do you copy? Beth? It's Fiona. Do you copy?
Yes, you're speaking. This is Jack Joyce. Beth told me you were working together. You might be the only ally I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I could do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. I need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. Twelve-sided, small, metallic. Like a soccer ball. The CFR. The what? The chronon field regulator. That is the countermeasure. And it can fix the fracture. Basement five. We need to talk. Look, I was wrong, okay? Jack Joyce, we... He can use the CFR to fix the fracture. We need to get it to him. 
the CFRs what's powering this place right now, be honest. But, but I spoke to him. I spoke to Jack Joyce, and he needs it. Just, if you, if you let Joyce use the CFR, then that means the lifeboat's gone. No, 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 that's not, no that's these not people the... down here, they can figure it out. They can fix the fracture. That's what you wanted these in the people, first place. These people, this is Monarch, okay? They're the ones that got us into this. Do you think they give a shit about any of us? I mean, you realize what you're asking. So, what's the plan once we get to Monarch? We need to find a way onto the lifeboat. Sir, Liam Burke, he's trying to break into Monarch. We know where the CFR is, but... Jack, it's Charlie, listen. It's at the top of the Monarch Tower, so you gotta follow my instructions exactly. Jack. Jack? Jack. Jack. Fiona, stop. Jack! No, no, no. Look. That area up there is insanely secure. He's not gonna be able to get in. Hey, 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 wait! Wait. I need to finish this. I know, but I'm the one that should go. The CFR defenses. There's no way he's gonna be able to get past them along. I'm the only one. I mean, you belong down here. You actually would be useful. I'm dead weight. Just, I'm a glorified locksmith. Why don't you let somebody else be the hero? Okay, tough chick? Everyone needs IT, Charlie. Fuck you. Hey, Charlie. You're an okay date. I know. tell me he's a traitor. I'm not a traitor. I know what you want. You're protecting what's yours. I want to protect what's mine. We're the same now. And I need your help. And you need mine. You're looking for the lifeboat. Isn't that right? And you know what we're facing. I have a team down there. They will fix the fracture. Time will go on. But not if the CFR goes unprotected. 
CFR? It's our key. It's what makes the lifeboat possible. Powers it. But my enemies want it destroyed. You could keep it safe. And when this is over, your wife, she'll be waiting for you. So I could take her with me. She'll survive. Liam, what is he talking about? I just, I think of what happens if we're down there unprotected. None of us are saved. you to go with him. He's gonna take you to the lifeboat. I'll find you when it's over. The top of Monarch Tower find the CFR in a striker suit. That's all you'll need. What your husband's doing for you, it's admirable. Change things. The world. The universe. To the first beings powerful enough to undo the very fabric that we're part of. And now we must believe that we are powerful enough to set things straight again. We've all made sacrifices. We have all made sacrifices. But we're not just here to work for ourselves. We're here for our families, for mankind. To change history, to make history. Right here, right now. I have some other matters to attend to, so I will not be with you. But I know that you will succeed.
Joyce, see if our defenses are down. It's all you. You're good to go. Step the fuck away from there! I can't! Get, I can't, Liam! Get the fuck I away! I can't! Mark! Get away! Joyce needs it. Joyce? Joyce can fix the fracture, Liam. You need to get the fuck out of here, Charlie. I'm not moving. Get out of here! I'm not moving, so you're gonna have to kill me. Once and for all, you're gonna have to fucking kill me. Because right now, Liam, I'm thinking about more than myself. You don't know what Joyce is gonna do. No, I don't. But I have faith in Fiona. And she believes in Joyce. So I gotta believe, too. Think about it. Fix a lifeboat, you save your wife. We fix the fracture, it saves us all. Okay? So go ahead. Go ahead and kill me. It's not gonna make a fucking difference. But if you kill Joyce, then we have. Perceptions, Liam, they're off. This world you know, this world is ending. Obvious, the city's going crazy. The entire world. I can't even keep up with the reports. Listeners, you really want to stay indoors. The one side, we don't know Time was broken. Is, Working out of sync. The city was in a state of chaos. The end of time was closing in. And you still believed you could fix it? The solution was inside Monarch Tower countermeasure. The CFR, as Monarch knew it. The key to the lifeboat protocol. Monarch's survival plan. But that didn't seem to matter to you. I had a better plan. Thank you. 
Fiona? Is that you? Yes. I wasn't sure if I could make this work. Listen, the CFR, it's not easy to reach, but you can access it from Serene's office. A friend of mine has unlocked the CFR chamber, but the rest of the place is still in lockdown. I think I could help you with that. Like this. I guess you can. Serene isn't in the building anymore. I was getting closer to the countermeasure. Paul had the key to fixing the fracture all along, but he didn't see it. There was nothing to see. He believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. 
That's why he used the countermeasure, the CFR, to create the lifeboat.
We're trying to get to the Sky Bridge. Sky Bridge. Sky Bridge. You're in marketing right now. That's... Okay. Yeah, 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 I think I got it. Hey, Jack. Be careful. There's something really weird going on in this building. Monarch was scrambling. Paul's empire was falling apart all around me. I'd never seen anything like it. But Paul had. That's what he was preparing for all those years. He didn't do a very good job. Holy shit. They have a time machine here? What the fuck was that thing? The train. All personnel, stay clear of the lower levels. There's a possible hazard. Repeat, stay clear of the lower levels. There appears to be a train crashed into the building. The situation is under control. All personnel should remain in secure areas. There are intruders in the... Another door I need help with, Fiona. You're at Serene's office. Good. Uh, just a second. This one's a little tricky. Serene's got access to the CFR chamber, and there's going to be a pretty dangerous guy there guarding. <laughs> got it. Just be careful, okay? Paul was already gone, but he left behind the one thing I needed. We have, we have a mission. Prep the, Prep chopper. the chopper. Ready to, Ready lift, to lift off, off in 15, 15, sir. What's the, What's the profile? profile? Full tactical, Full tactical complement. complement. And we're going to need a tech squad for assembly. assembly. I'll brief, I'll brief them, on them on the way. way. Copy, that. Copy that. Good hunting, Good hunting sir. sir. This alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? Fuck you. I'm done playing games. I'm here for what you stole. Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. I'm done dancing your tune, you crazy bastard. That was just a couple of minutes between stutters. The countermeasure was Paul's prize. Everything he'd built was based on Will's device, his 
plan depended on it. You better believe I look forward to taking it from him. Paul told me that he tried to change things. It failed. What he'd seen, it broke him. And I'd seen Beth go down the same path, but Paul... It consumed him. was a powerful man, the leader of an empire, but behind the veil, he was a dying man. The signs were clear. Dr. Amaral was the one thing keeping Paul alive, but reading through their exchanges, there was something more than professional going on. That's not my place to comment on. Seeing that face put it into perspective. They were all misled, manipulated to believing they were doing what was right, what was necessary. They had stockpiled all the chronon particles from ground zero Liam to keep Burke the lifeboat running. Was an unnecessary enough casualty. to hopefully last until One a proper solution was discovered. Our chamber. Doors locked. That's way above my access level. But since my friend disabled security earlier, I should be able to do this. Listen, I don't really know what the plan is, but it's all up to you now. Good luck. It was like walking into a shrine. There had been some kind of struggle in the chamber. This was their holy relic. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems to be that kind of work environment.
It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it, and I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. They've got the core here. Monarch had built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. Paul took the core of the time machine from the university, hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. The core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the corridor in place. Okay, this should do it.
Jesus. Are you serious? It's fine. Let's go. Oh, no! Suppressive fire!
Let's go.
target lost. You very slow machine lady. The machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the core was first activated. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. You better be as advertised.
fellas. Oh, shit! I got there after the fracture initiated. Too late to stop it all before it ever started. But not too late to save Will. All you had to do was get to him in time. Yeah. That was the plan. HQ, we've got security footage of the Joyce brothers escaping through the server room on the lower level. Raider Team 3, intercept immediately. Ready another extraction unit to remove the core. It's locked. Gotta find another way out of here. Okay, gotta get to the library. Prowler team, ready the heavies in the underground parking. I'm not hearing any response from Raider Team 3. We may have a situation. Where the oh. hell is that have to reach Will before it's too late. We were supposed to have the core loaded in that chopper by now. Hatch was right. Should have sent Liam Burke in first to deal with those Joyce assholes. <laughs> I remember that Will and I were heading to the courtyard when the stutter hit. That's where I needed to cut him off. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks for the heads up. escape from the lab after the experiment. It seemed like a monarch was dealing with somebody other than us. That was me, all along. HQ, the striker team is down. It's choice. Raider 9, what do you mean the striker team is down? How many?
Son of a... HQ, we spotted Jack Joyce in the student lounge. Bandit for the... That shouldn't be possible. I'm getting reports of gunfire in the underground parking. Are you sure it's Joyce? I need visual confirmation. Didn't expect two of me, did you? Gate control. I don't have the code. What the hell are you doing down here? Let's go see Wade. Okay, how do I get this up? Code. They need me up there. Fuck, Fuck if, if I, know. I know. Let's go see Let's Wade. See Wade. Burke. Burke. The, hell the hell are you, hell doing, are you down doing down here? here? They need me up there. Fuck, Fuck if, if I, know. I know. Let's go see Let's Wade. See Wade. Get all, get all the fun. Probably, Probably because, because I'm not rocking those other damn shots. orders. All right. Get your team prepped for combat. I don't have a good feeling about all this. Damn it. I missed the code. Find out. Civilians are at gunfire in the physics building. Got around up the witnesses. How come you get all the fun? Probably because I'm not rocking those guns. Six six five. Okay.
Damn it. Blocking my powers. Looks like it's plugged in somewhere else. I gotta get to Will. those strikers. He's obviously not alone. My bet is there's at least five of them working together. So keep your eyes peeled. We got contact! Gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Shit. Too late. I gotta beat him to the library. I got orders to control the rooftops. We already, we already got, got men, men up, there. up there. And they want, they want more. more. Take it up with Serene if you disagree. disagree.
This is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine core in transit.
Joyce is in the library, then who they'd spot up? Hostile! But it's him! <laughs> Joyce is in the library, then who'd they spot up here? Don't know, but I'm giving us 30 seconds to find out, then we get the hell out of here. I'm... It's here!
Oh no, no. Stand by to detonate the library. I'm going in. <sighs> Fuck. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Will? Already gone. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. Will. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. Fracture wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? In theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, future. No, 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 no. It's the only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. It's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? And you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set. But the future is... This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? No, I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, No then... egg metaphors. Damn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky the past up. remains intact. Stick to the plan. Nothing changes, and the Novikov self-consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high-five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. 
consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. All right, through here. We Nick, can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Come on, this place isn't safe. Oh shit, watch out. Well, hey. Go this way now. Look, I know I've kept you in the dark, but when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah, I get it. Come on, let's just go to the future and fix this mess.
Damn. It's locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. But whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Yeah. All right. We'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure. Before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. Exit. It'll be a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window. When we know it can work, before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know they stole from me. You worry about your end. I'll worry about mine. All right, well. <laughs> That works. This is amazing. All those years. I never imagined that it would be like oh, Crap. Hang on, Will. Uh, what the hell did they do?
Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know.
not, Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but forget it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know.
Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but it's forgetting. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know.
us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Jack, I don't know how Will managed to get here, but forget it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know.
not, Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. <laughs> Jack, I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting it. This is 
bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know. Thank <laughs> you. 
Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. I'll have to hook up the countermeasure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with chronon particles. The time machine's like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. What do you need? The mesh's charge is low. We need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Measure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. He's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. 
was he? Well, the countermeasure worked. Whoa. Countermeasure burned out. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you.
You've been very patient with us and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well, that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious. And we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. 